sort of common scenario a 6 year old boy complains with fever of 8 days there is generalized macropapular rashes for 7 days and difficulty in breathing for 3 days so the child was initially diagnosed as measles and uh, managed appropriately when the child came to us uh, the child was very toxic looking uh, there was heart rate of 200 beats per minute there was mucositis in chest there were bilateral crepitations even the air entry was reduced on the right side so a very toxic looking child so whether the diagnosis of measles was right and uh, it is measles which gets complicated by super added bacterial infection most likely a staphylococcal infection or there are there we should think of something else in this case kawasaki sepsis kawasaki mainly because fever is more than 5 days you have mucositis and uh, generalized rash is there and maybe uh, that is the another point that is adding to is is heart rate more than 200 per minute that is tachycardia but bilateral crepts see the x ray as well see the x ray as well does that fit into a kawasaki scarlet fever bronchopneumonia by okay now we have uh, having answers uh missy rickettsial fever staphylococcal pneumonia okay dr vikram right so so basically this is a case of fever with rash right so my first question is other differentials are okay what you have already told those those are all all are into our consideration but why not measles what is against measles in this case why can't it be measles with which gets complicated which is a known complication measles first most common complication is the otitis media second most common complication is the pneumonia and staphylococcus is the most offending organism so why can't it be the measles which is got complicated by us supra added staphylococcal pneumonitis somebody uh, dr shelen says it is the age is against measles or uh, i think no uh, if somebody is unimmunized and unexposed uh, then even a 6 year old child may get measles so age is not against days of rash and mucositis are against measles so mucositis may be there you you have conjunctivitis in measles as a part of spectrum of measles you have complex spots in measles as well it is not entirely against measles fever and a day of appearance of rash fever duration is against the diagnosis of measles right so uh idea is whenever you are approaching a child with a uh, 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 fever with rash then few things a pg student must ask about rash what is the day of onset of rash what is the type of rash what is whether there are uh, maculopapular rash whether it is a fluid vesicles whether it's a pus filled rash what is the distribution of rash where did it started whether it started from abdomen from trunk from the face uh, how does it progress what is the immunization status of the patient and what is the history of contact usually these illness like measles chicken pox they comes in cluster you will always found somebody in household or the nearby area is also having similar kind of rashes so this patient does not have this patient has a rash at the day 2 of illness right fever from 8 days and the next day he developed rashes he didn't have any contact history and he was immunized for measles he received two doses of measles although no vaccination is 100% and you can still get infected from measles but uh, these are the pointers which pointed which helps us in thinking beyond measles so uh, i would be happy if you, uh, somebody can tell that at what are the main illnesses and the main rashes associated with febrile illnesses and they, how can we classify them according to the day of appearance of rash i think uh, dr vikram we may not have time for that Uh, because that will need them typing it out long uh, things and uh, we can straight away come to what could be the differential diagnosis in this particular child and justification based on what students have uh, given their reply so far right so uh, for this patient uh, as rightly said uh, this patient has mucositis very high heart rate tachycardia this cardiomegaly on this x ray as well right so the patient has cardiomegaly uh this patient has severe mucositis so this patient since came to us in a post covid era 
we go for a covid antibody and the diagnosis was confirmed as uh, misc so multi system inflammatory syndrome in children so uh, and we gave ivig and the child improved in next two days and uh, was discharged in a very good uh, healthy condition so kawasaki is a very close differential and it's very very difficult to distinguish it from uh, 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 misc so uh, uh, but because the treatment is same in both conditions uh, we just have to keep a watch on coronary arteries we may have to perform echos and uh, otherwise there is no much difference in the treatment of both the condition so yes kawasaki can still be a possibility but in any ways we have to give ivig so that doesn't change our uh, course of treatment uh, i think we'll stop at that there you have a beautiful chapter written by dr uh, bala subramanian on uh, missy in the latest edition of pg textbook of pediatrics so i suggest that you please go through that and you will uh, then we can some later time we can discuss about covid and the missy and the other uh, points so but um, all of this is available in the textbook and you can go through